From the printer's control panel, feed the film forward with the down arrow, guiding it through the shaker and heater, to come out the back by the take-up roller. Lift the film out and over the take-up roll, place the tension rod onto the film above to secure it. Align the roll guide left to right such that it lines up on either side with the edge of the film and then tighten the guides into place. Get a few pieces of scotch tape, take film from behind the take-up roll, pull it underneath then up, and align it to the roll. Be sure it is parallel to the roll's edges, then secure it with the tape pieces. Manually add tension to the take-up roll to remove any slack. Note the switch next to the take-up roller which indicates the direction of rotation. Up or forward, means the film surface at the back of the roll is going in an upward direction as it turns. If switched down, the film surface at the back of the roll would move down. Feed film forward from the control panel to drape down into the shaker area. The film should be suspended just above the bottom so that it can touch the sensor. Next, adjust each end of the powder containment rod to the actual width of the film, and tighten it down. Lower it into the center of the suspended film, it should straddle either side of the film and form a barrier to keep excess powder in place. Finally we add the base level of adhesive powder into that center trough. Distribute it evenly across the film. Powder level should be about a quarter inch below the center column of the powder containment rod. From here your DTF print to film equipment is loaded and ready to go.